Welcome back to a new video and today I want to show you guys how I go about making a uh, character render profile picture thingy and uh, yeah I'm just gonna guide you guys step by step through how I make it I'm gonna try to keep this uh, relatively short but also in detail enough for you guys to understand why I'm doing certain things so first things first if you don't have the load character plugin by Arity Pro you're gonna want it so go to view toolbox and in marketplace go to plugins and it should be right here you want to have that and we go and we go low character right here all right so i went on discord and i asked you guys to comment your character your to comment your username and i'm just going to pick a random one to use so um let's see all right i'm gonna pick this guys so copy paste you're gonna want to hit spawn r15 there we go now i'm gonna click i'm gonna right click i'm gonna go export selection now you can save it anywhere you want all right so now we are here in blender i'm gonna use the free blender lightning setup we have at gfxcomment.com you can head to the link in the description below and you can download it as well and also use it so first things first i'm gonna hit this button to enter into render mode as you can see uh we just got some basic sun and general lighting right here we're gonna go to shading all right we're gonna hit this button and right here you're gonna want to find your texture so all right so here is the texture i'm gonna hit open and uh we relocate you can see the texture is onto the character right here all right we need layouts and now we're gonna add the hat so i'm gonna go to file import and wait for an object from here same folder now we're gonna add the object file we go geometry and we go split by group right here and now you want to hit import so we could take this and we're gonna click and hold shift and click on everything except for the hats so the arms the legs there we go he actually got a special leg here so i'm gonna use this um like the face so we got the hats right here we select like these and we're just going to move it oops he's got a ton of accessories all right we're just gonna move these and here you want to align it with the character so try your best to get it right Alright, so I think I almost got it. Um, right here should be fine. Alright, there we go. I'm going to delete this leg since he has this thingy. But all you gotta do to pose, you can hit R to rotate. Like that. You can click here to rotate. But it is an R15, so you gotta align it. So, yeah, I'm, I think I'm gonna keep this pose right here. So now I'm gonna go into our camera. You want to hit zero on your number pad. It's gonna insert into camera mode. We're just gonna set the camera. Uh, I'm gonna go for thing right here. And you can also adjust the lighting. So go to sun, hit R to rotate. And you can rotate the sun as well. Like that. We could click on the hats, go into material, adjust the metallic, specular settings and roughness. That um, for the shirt, we could go back to shading. All right, and uh, right here, you want to hit Shift A. We're gonna add a bump. Take the normal, plug it into normal, and take this texture and put it into height. So as you can see, we added some bump into the clothing. We can lower it. There we go. We can also adjust these settings as well to get something that uh, you want. There we go. And also the face a little bit. Um, I want lower specular. This is too much shine, so I'm gonna go for this right here. And you can also turn down the sunlight right here. 
All right, there we go. And once you are happy, you could go up to render and hit render image right here. All right, now we're gonna go to image and we're gonna hit save as. You can save it anywhere you want. I'm just gonna save it into into the same folder in which I um, exported the object. All right, so here in Photoshop, you wanna make your canvas 2000 by 2000. Right here, create. And now you want to import your render right here. And first of all, to make our background, we go to background and we're gonna take this lock. We're going to drag this into the trash can. All right, now we're gonna right click, go into blending options right here. And um, let's go for color overlay. Let's make this into a nice purple color. Or you could choose something else if you want, like blue. Or I think blue is fine. All right, All right so here on Google, you're gonna wanna look up Sunrays PNG. You can use any one you want. I'm just gonna use this one. Place it right here. And let's control, let's right click and go into rasterize layer. Now you wanna control U. We can bring the lightness all the way up. Saturation down. Now with this, we can copy multiple times and also go into overlay mode as well. Like this. As you can see. Now for the character, uh, we're gonna right click. Blending options. We go for uh, inner glow, overlay mode, choke all the way down, colors white. So we could do this kind of effects. All right, I'm gonna bubble and boss. Just copy my uh, settings as you see right here. So overlay, we change the angle if you want. Def, not too much. So all the way up. Change the contour. All right, I think this is good. All right, I think this is good right here. We can also add a drop shadow. Something like this right here. So we could go for a color lookup, mess with uh, these settings, see which one you like. So now you want to click on the top layer, hold shift and then click on the bottom one, hit control G, make a new layer, go to image and hit apply, we're gonna hit okay, hide the group. So now we have the image in uh, one layer as you can see. And right click and go into duplicate hit okay and go to filter camera raw filter right here and this is where we finalize everything so we bring the texture up and as you can see that instantly improves the look we bring the clarity up um, dehaze vibrance super important here we go Exposure, contrast, highlights. You can bring up noise uh, reduction to make it a bit more clean if you don't like the super detailed look. Sharpening. Once you're happy, you can hit OK. And as you can see, the before and after, it's a huge, huge, huge difference. So, we could actually so what we could do is, let me show you guys how it would look in a circle, let's clip, and this is basic, and this right here is how your profile picture is going to look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, uh, comment down below, visit the store, and uh, yeah, subscribe, stay tuned for more. All that being said, I'm going to see you guys in the next video.